ni ng batikos ang pagpunta ni Vice President Lenny Robredo sa Amerika kasama ang kanyang pamilya para magbakasyon ngayong Pasko. Ayon sa mga kritiko, inabandona ni ng Vice Presidente ang mga Bikulano sa panahon ng kalamidad. Para sa Kabuanga Report, alamin natin na mula sa report ni RH09, Sun Casulia. Kinalampag ng mga kritiko si Vice President Lenny Robredo dahil sa bakasyon nito sa Estados Unidos kasama ang kanyang mga anak kasabay ng paglikas ng kanyang mga kababayang Bikulano sa mga evacuation center na hinagupit ng Bagyong Nina. Isa sa mga kritiko ng Vice Presidente ang nagsabi na inabandonan nito ang mga Bikulano sa panahon ng kalamidad. Gayun man, ipinagtanggol naman si Robredo ng ilan sa kanyang mga taga-suporta at sinabing walang masama sa pagbakasyon ng ginang dahil ang Pasko ay panahon para sa pamilya. Ayon sa supporters ni Lenny, hindi naman ito mapipigilan ng bagyo at ang lokal na pamahalan ang dapat may responsibilidad na tumutok sa mga kalamidad. that they're attending Robredo's uh, event so I just stopped her and I only had a few seconds to tell her to ask her who's sponsoring the event um, Robredo told me in front of people and we have security footages to get it sabi ni Robredo it is sponsored right private sponsorship ang ginagawa nila dito sa NAFA so you have the vice president of the Philippines getting money from a private group and she is being quote unquote sponsored for this event. No, 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 don't worry about it. I'd also like to take this opportunity to, of course, thank our host, um, where is the, Dr. Rivera, there she is, Victoria Rivera, um, Ida Rivera, who is our host, and at the same time, the outgoing chair of uh, NAPA's National Leadership, uh, Attorney J.D. Marjonga. I know my rights. You can't ask me to leave. Okay. Whoever you are, you can't ask me to leave. Okay? I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here doing my stuff. You no, can't ask why, me to no, leave. I know you're sponsoring Dr. Uh, Miss, Miss Robredo's, Vice President Robredo's event. It's a private event, but don't tell me to leave. I'm not leaving, right? Whoever you are, I don't care. I know my rights. Smile. Yeah, so right now they just asked me to leave and somebody tried to push me aside, some Dr. Rivera or something. So, yeah, they don't want me to be here right now. But as you can see from the background, nandito na lahat yung mga alipores ni Robredo yung nagbayad sa kanya para magpunta sa Estados Unidos. I mean, I don't, I don't know why these people, Phil Americans, are still paying for Robredo, but that's what they're doing, man. These people are just paying for Robredo to come over for their private event, and Robredo just said, it's a private event. She's sponsored. See these guys? Yeah, they're the ones who sponsored Robredo's event. They just asked me to leave. They just asked me to leave. I won't leave because I know my rights. They think they can push me around. There's more, dude. You gotta see the dresses. It's just like the Oscars right now.
So this is like a, a gala event. All they pay Robredo to come over. All this Filipino Americans gave uh, sponsorship. Hello, press people. They just asked me to leave. They think they can just push me around. I know my rights. So they thought they could. There's a um, security as you can see. She's nice. She's just waiting for me. So I'm not doing anything wrong. Sorry. And that's a party over here, dude. Sa lahat ng mga Idiot Robredo followers sa Pilipinas, sa Amerika, sa Canada, sa Middle East, sa Europe, at sa lahat ng panig ng mundo, yung Panginoon ninyong Idiot Robredo, pinatunayan na naman na idiot siya. At kayo yung mga idiots rin kasi sunod kayo na sunod sa kabubuhan ng inutil na Vice President ninyo. Hindi namin Vice President yung hinayupak ng Idiot Robredo na yan. Kaya magsama-sama kayong mga idiots. Itong nakaraang araw mula August 1 to August 7, Maraming nagawa si President Duterte para iayos ang Pilipinas. Noong August 2, binisita ng Presidente Duterte ang uh, bayaning sundala na si Jerome Hakuba sa AFP Medical Center. Sa kabilang dako naman, noong August 2, yung sinasabing nanalo raw ng pagka-Vice President na Lola Lenny Lugaw Idiot Robredo nagpunta sa Thailand dahil binigyan na raw siya ng award ek ek. Ano na pala nyo yung mga Idiot Robredo followers? Wala! Aligahanin yung mga idiots galing sa pa-picture-picture ni Lenny Lugaw sa Thailand. Noong August 3, nagkaroon ng press conference si Lenny Lugaw. At iniisip niya kung saan daw niya kukunin ang pambayad kay Makalintal para sa electoral protest na sinampalaban sa kanya sa Comelec. Susuportahan niya yung idiot Robredo na wala raw pera pero pupunta sa kasino sa Amerika. Noong August 5, nagpunta si President Duterte sa Camp Lapu-Lapu, Cebu City at binisita ang Central Centcom of Armed Forces of the Philippines. Pagkatapos, nagpunta si President Duterte sa Camp General Macario Peralta sa Hamindan, Capiz. Noong August 6, si Lenny Lugaw nasa Estados Unidos, nagpunta sa Valley Forge Casino and Hotel para sa press conference. Pagkatapos, may induction of officers ng National Federation of Phil American Associations. Hinarap ni Lugaw ang iilang mga Filipino na walang kinalaman sa Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council at opisina ng Vice President. Ano na pala ninyong mga idiot Robredo followers? Wala! Kaligayahan ninyong mga idiots galing sa pa-picture-picture ni Lenny Lugaw sa Amerika. Susuportahan nyo yung idiot Robredo na wala raw pera pero nagpunta sa kasino sa Amerika. Pakinggan nyo yung sinasabi ni Lenny Lugaw. Pennsylvania has been home, almost home to our family in as much as I have a sister-in-law who, who lives here. Nagpunta ng Philadelphia para salubuhin pala yung sister-in-law niya. 10 minutes yan, walang katapusan, kikwento niya yung buhay niya, wala naman tayong pakialam. Siyempre, yung natutuwa lang dyan, kapwa idiot Robredo followers. Tapos may scripted question and answer session, more than 25 minutes ng kaikikan na walang patutunguan. If you are familiar with our constitution, um, if you look at the constitution, the vice president doesn't have real powers except to wait for something to happen to the president. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Parang sayang yata yung six years na naging time tayo. Uh, but the office of the vice president has one of the smallest budgets of departments of government. Um, I think it's doable uh, considering the many limitations of my office. As I've said, under the constitution, we do not have a man mandate to execute law, uh, execute programs. But I think we, we can be a very good and be an inspiration for alam, alam nyo pa, siguro you're, you're familiar naman with um, sa, sa atin kasi required yung mga corporate social responsibility programs of all the companies and maraming companies yung naghahanap ng CSR programs but don't really know what to do Walang katorya-torya, dak-dak lang ng dak-dak. Pumunta ng Amerika, dak-dak lang ng dak-dak ng walang punto. So, um, uh, since, since the premise of the question is young Filipino-Americans, um, and by young, siguro hindi naman yung edad ko ng mga 20s, 30s, we have, I think, been living here for, for the longest time. Most of them have been born, uh, were born here already. Um, 
siguro it would it would be a tremendous help kung magkaroon ng mga trips na sinesponsor for them. Um, may, may, th there is one program now, I forgot the name of it. Um, I, I... Dito kung mapapamura ka talaga. Pasensya na po kayo. Putang ina, nagpunta ka sa Amerika para sa press conference na yung information ay pwede naman sabihin o ilagay yan sa internet or Skype or internet phone or broadcast sa YouTube. Pero hindi, putang ina, press conference ni Lugaw, wala pang dalawang dosena ang dumalo. Walang international press, walang Philippine press, walang punto kundi magpakyut. Sige, bilangin nyo kung ilan nandiyan sa putang inang press conference na yan. Kung inutil ka na, Idiot Takinor, Idiot Robredo follower, tulad ng Juan Nationalist, ang lagalag, Raisal Robles, Alan Robles, Running Reyes, Kiko Pangininan, Rafi Biason, Lailayan Galima. At ito yung first name ni Trillanes, paniniwalaan mo ang bullshit ni Idiot Robredo sa Amerika. Bobo ka kasi, kaya nga oo ka ng oo kay Idiot Robredo. Kaya ka nga, idiot, tinambakan ka lang ng pang-abay at pang-uri, naniwala ka naman sa kapwa mo, idiot. Tinambakan ka lang ng pa-picture-picture, pa-video-video, pa-bebe-bebe, naniwala ka naman. Hindi mo pa rin naiintindihan ang pagiging idiot mo, ano, idiot Robredo follower. Pakinggan niyo yung sinasabi ni Lenny Lugaw. Gagamitin pa si President Duterte para lang kunyari kakampi siya ng Pangulo at nakikisama siya sa mga cabinet meeting. I think the, the, the President is very sportive. As far as this is concerned, we have talked about this already during um, our cabinet meetings. How how do we how how do we um, make our processes more more customer friendly? No August seven, nagsalita pa si Idiot Robredo sa San Francisco naman. Seventeen minutes rin yan. Kakadakdak tungkol sa buhay niya, sa nangyari sa kanya. Pero walang punto sa Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council at opisina ng Vice President. Ang kumaray ko po, baptismal godmother ng aking anak, nasa na si Alice? Nandiyan si Alice, walay ako yung sa likod. Nag-fly pa siya from LA. I heard some other people flew from, from LA just to be with us tonight. Pansin ninyo, ang mga dumalo sa San Francisco, mabibilang nyo lang, wala pang isang dosena. Ito yung pinakamalupit. Pakinggan nyo yung sasabihin ni Lugao. Mapapamura ka talaga. Putang ina, nagpunta ka ng San Francisco para pasalamatan yung mga nangampanya para sa'yo tapos nanalo ka sa daya, pasasalamatan mo yung mga mandaraya na nagpanalo sa'yo. Sa mga tweet, sa nakaraang ilang araw ng unang linggo ng August 2016, si President Duterte, panayang trabaho, habang si Lenny Lugaw, panayang pasyal, gamit ang pera ng bayan. Malibang sa pagkumpara sa sipag at galing ni President Duterte, ang, ang tunay na katibayan na idiot kayong mga idiot Robredo followers ay yung pagkapanalo ni, ni Hedelin Diaz ng silver medal sa weightlifting sa Olympics. Si Diaz, nalala ng silver at nagdala ng karangalan para sa bansa. Gumasos ba ng 400 million para sa kampanya sa eleksyon? At pera ba ng Pilipinas ginamit ni Diaz pang manalo ng silver medal sa Olympics? Hindi, sariling kayod, sipag, tiyaga at pera ang ginamit ni Ms. Diaz para magdala ng karangalan sa Pilipinas. Congratulations, Hidden Diaz. Maraming salamat sa pagdala ng karangalan sa Bansang Pilipinas. Habang kayong mga idiot Robredo followers, nagdadadakdak lang si Lenny Lugaw harap ng kamera, pumapalakpak at natutuwa naman kayo. Ginastos ni Idiot Robredo ang pera ng bayan na walang punto at hindi nagdadala ng karangalan. Pumapalakpak at natutuwa naman yung mga kapwa niya idiots. Sunod kayo ng sunod sa Panginoon yung Idiot Robredo. Tapos siya lang nakikinabang at kayo walang napapala. Kaya nga kayo Idiot Robredo followers, mga inutil kasi kayo. Pinagbawa na tayo ng casino at hotel security sa Valley Forge at hindi na natin nahabol si Lenny pagkatapos ng induction of officers. Pero yung mga bisita ni Lugaw na interview natin, panorin nyo. Yun sa susunod na videos. What I don't get is this is supposed to be 
something relevant to the HUDCC. Notice with that. There's there's nothing that the H. There's not no, nothing relevant with the HUDCC or the office of the vice president of the Philippines that's going on here. This is just a private event, and they're paying for it. All of these guys. Yep, he's the guy who touched me. I have to take a shower later. Just like yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's like a gala event over here, man. See, if this was a official diplomatic event, people will not be walking around wearing shorts. But instead, this is a casino. And as you can see from a casino, it's not a diplomatic event. It's just an event. Sir, you don't mind me going in camera? Who's paying for the event? For the vice president? Who's paying for the vice president's trip? Who's paying for the vice president's trip? The group. Oh, so this is a private sponsor and you're paying for the vice president? No, 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 but the group is paying for it. So the group is paying for it. NAFA is paying for it. Yes. Wow. Okay. So you, 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 with all due respect, ma'am, you do know it's unconstitutional, right? I don't know. A public servant receiving private donations or solicitations? It's not a donation. So you can't give it? No, actually, it's yes. official uh, Why is it official? What does it have to do with the Housing Urban Development Coordinating Council? Yeah, she was assigned by the for what? To for the housing. The, yeah, for what? But what does this have to do with housing? What you're doing here right now? Because before, yeah. during the campaign, she yes. was invited by NAMPA. Yeah, but that's not the point, is it? She's vice president, and she's not supposed to be here. You're not. She's not supposed to receive money from people like you. No. Yeah. So. Huh? I mean, Obama's not going to receive money from people like you to attend an induction of re events. Why does Why does Robredo have to accept it? I don't know. I don't That's exactly the reason why I'm here, ma'am. Because the Filipino people need to know. Yes. Yeah. Who's paying for this? We'll go where? We're here, so we can't go anywhere. Just jogging. Gotcha. Don't you just love your rights, don't you? Nice flowers. Oh yeah, you, no, it's it, it's not. Yeah.